Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are going to be breaking down the absolutely massive data download that we got on May 22nd, 2023 on Global. And as always, with these kinds of data downloads, we have a good amount of stuff that's for right now, that's coming out very soon, but also a lot of stuff that's coming later in the future, like the anniversary, for example. Now, of course, before we jump into it, I want to give a shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. I don't actually know how he's not at 10k followers yet, but let's get him there as quickly as possible. So with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the first asset, which is this new tech kid Goku who is available in the uh, Dragon Ball story stages. And let's quickly talk about what he does actually. So we're on the Dokkan Wiki and uh, this is the Kid Goku, the free to play Kid Goku from the uh, Grand Adventure quest for the Dragon Balls, Dragon Ball story. And his leader skill is DB Saga, category key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and passive is Attack and defense plus 70% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% per DB Saga category ally on the team, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when there is another Earth Red Fighters category ally attacking in the same turn. Links are all in the family, Innocence, Thorough School, Guide of the Dragon Balls, and Incredible Adventure, and categories are Dragon Ball Seekers, Youth, DB Saga, and Earth Bread Fighters. So currently, he's not the greatest. He really isn't. I really like this art though, but uh, as a unit, not the best, right? But there is a theory, and it's based on his hidden potential being very similar to other free to play LRs in the past, or units in the past that have become LRs, right? So uh, a lot of people do think that this kid Goku will eventually Dokken Awaken into. An LR, possibly an LR hit Goku and Krillin. We'll have to see, but uh, that's pretty exciting. So that is the new kid Goku, and uh, he's available on the 22nd, which is right now. So he is currently available in the game. And from there, we have the Bear Thief, which is a boss, I believe, in the Dragon Ball story stages. We also have uh, the eight stages. Or sorry, I think it's uh nine stages in total so here's a quick look at the maps oh uh by the way the uh category bonus drop or the uh bonus drop category is db saga which makes sense so we have stage one two three and four and then we have five fry pan fry pan mountain six seven eight and finally, stage nine. So those are the new stages of the Dragon Ball story. And then we have some uh, clips from the Dragon Ball story um, event as well, which uh, you guys can take a look at here. We have the, well, this is the intro for the new LR Bulma, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, we have that. We have a flying Nimbus which uh, is actually, I'm pretty sure the uh, animation for the new support memory, because I don't actually recognize it. So it must be, it must be new, I'm pretty sure. And then from there we have, of course, panties off a of hot babe. And then uh, that's it. So three clips from the event. Uh, this is, uh, oh, the new, Challenge Behold Support Memory Boost stage. There you go, where you fight uh, Bulma slash Vegeta. And then we have stage 43 of Extreme Super Battle Road, Team Bardock only, and this is not available yet because it comes out on the 25th at 6.30 GMT. So yeah, Team Bardock, Extreme Super Battle Road. And uh, yeah, I was right. So we have the support memory with the Kid Goku and the Nimbus. And the effect is... DB Saga, category allies, attack and defense plus 10% for two turns from the start of battle once only. 
And speaking of support memories, we now officially have the medals to uh, increase their levels, to give them boosts. So for Oolong's Wish, I guess currently we can only get it up to level 3. Once it's at level 3, it gives you a chance of obtaining bonus rewards plus 85% compared to only 50% at level 1 in events with the uh, special effect bonus reward drop rate increased once only. So you have the four uh, medals, I guess, basically. They're like EZA medals for support memories. Uh, you know, bronze, silver, gold, and rainbow. And then we have Frieza's Fury at level 3. It gives extreme class allies attack plus 20% for two turns when there is a super class enemy once only. And this was at, uh, I think, 10% at level 1. And then we have Curious Destiny. And this goes up to level 5. So... At level 5, it recovers 50% HP, and for 2 turns, pure Saiyans or Earthlings, category allies, attack and defense plus 10% on the 4th turn from the start of battle, or when HP is 40% or less with a pure Saiyans or Earthlings category ally on the team once only. So this was already a very useful support memory for some of the harder stages in the game, and now it's going to be just even more useful, right? So. There's that, and then we have Pull Out the Tail, which still makes me extremely uncomfortable as an animation. But uh, at level 3, it gives Super Class Allies attack plus 20% for 2 turns when there is an Extreme Class Enemy once only. We have First Taste of Tempura with uh, Whis at level 3. All allies keep plus 3 for 3 turns on the 3rd turn from the start of battle. Pretty solid. And uh, finally, we have Fly Icarus level 3, of course with Gohan and Icarus. All allies attack and defense plus 15% for one turn and recovers 15% HP when HP is 70% or less once only. Not bad. So yeah, these are the, uh, I guess, support memories that we can currently uh, level up, that we can currently boost. And uh, you can acquire these through missions and uh, login bonuses and stuff like that. So definitely... Uh, do those missions because these are actually quite useful and then from there we have a bunch of scripted assets i'm not going to spend too much time on this but you guys can take a look at uh, the goku which is uh, at least the first two are from the lr goku uh, or z fighters in part two this is also from the lr gohan in part two of the eighth anniversary we have a dr jero uh, we have some Android 17s from, of course, the uh, Super 17 release, which is coming up soon, uh, probably next on Global, I believe. Then we have a couple of Master Roshis. We have the uh, Goku's uh, family, or actually, no, my bad. Uh, we have <laughs> Kid Trunks, uh, Gohan, and Kid Goten from the LR. Um, a Super Saiyan Blue Goku. A pretty jack looking Tien. Good job, Tien. We have a couple of youth or kid Gokus. These are pretty interesting looking. Definitely a bit of a different style than we're used to. Um, and then this is, you know, just their standard kid Goku. Love this art once again. Uh, a couple of more kid Gokus. Really like this one as well. Uh, a kid Chi Chi. A Yamcha. Okay, we got Vegito, the LR of course, we have the GT Trio, Dr. Mew, um, a couple of Oolongs right there, uh, Super Gogeta, Super 17, that's the Dokkan Fest 17, uh, we have an Ox King, a couple of Youth Bulmas, a Bunny Bulma right there. Uh, a couple of Kales from the Berserk Kale Dokkan Fest release, obviously. Uh, more Kales from her, I believe, active skill. We have a Khalifla, a UI Goku, a Gogeta, and then we have some assets, uh, just miscellaneous assets. So this is from, I guess, maybe the next World Tournament, possibly another World Tournament coming soon to Global. And then we have the Bear Thief. And then we have a big uh, Shenron head who I think is part of the art for the uh, LR Goten Gohan and Drugs, but 
Maybe not. Either way, big oolong head. Oh, sorry, did I say oolong? Maybe I said oolong before. Shenron. <laughs> Shenron head. Uh, this is the logo for the Dragon Ball Story uh, DB Saga event. Uh, and a bunch of, you know, backgrounds right there for various events. Um, yeah, a couple of Kame houses, of course. Uh, by the way, these are untranslated, which means that these are actually for events that are not currently going to be available in the game for a while. But uh, they're going to be for, they're going to be for like upcoming, you know, story events or upcoming, um, just different events, Dokkan Fest events in the future. So yeah, you can you can take a look at these. I don't think they really mean much to you guys. I mean, obviously you can like recognize some of the locations, but you know, there's really. Uh, Nothing you can do with these aside from look at them, but I'm gonna show them to you guys anyways just because I don't know why not so yeah, those are the untranslated maps and then we have a bunch of extreme Z battles here uh, Of course untranslated because these are for the 8th anniversary. So we have the LR 5th year uh, anniversary Gogeta extreme Z battle the 5th year anniversary Vegito extreme Z battle and also the Super 17 Extreme Z Battle event. We have uh, untranslated card assets for the LR uh, Kid Gohan for part two of the anniversary, as well as the uh, LR Goku slash Z Fighters for part two of the anniversary as well. And then we have the androids. So of course, yo, this SSR art is actually fire. No pun intended, but also kind of intended. Uh, fire art, man. Holy crap. And then we have, of course, the Dokkan uh, Awakened, or Dokkan Awakened version. The TUR, if you will. And uh, finally, the Super 17. And then we have the Doctors, Mew and Jero. And then there's the TUR. And we have Kale, uh, SSR, TUR, and also her transformation. Um, we have Frost. SSR and TUR with Frost and Frieza. Uh, we have an upcoming extreme, sorry, uh, explosive chain battle boss, which is the Saiyan Saga, uh, Vegeta, and Nappa. And then uh, two wallpapers here with the Z Fighters, and also with uh, Goku doing like the, you know, hands in the air, spirit bomb kind of thing. And uh, some Awakening Medals untranslated for the Androids and Berserk Kale. We have some Extreme Z Awakening Medals, of course, for uh, this Bobbity that uh, becomes Maja Vegeta, actually. And then we have uh, Extreme Z Awakening Medal for the LR First Form Cell. Extreme Z Awakening Medals for Super, sorry, um, Android 17, MVP 17 from the Tournament of Power. Uh, Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the Hercule uh, for <laughs> the little kids right there, uh, for this guy, Casserole, and also some loading screens. Some loading screens for the 8th anniversary as well, which actually look like they're ready to go. I mean, it's in English, you know, so I guess these ones are actually translated. Uh, some more loading screens looking really, really clean, getting me really excited for the anniversary. And finally, some support memory Hoi Poi capsules, which uh, Proton forgot to include earlier on. But we have, you know, the different colors for capsules. Pretty standard. So uh, there you have it, guys. That is the data download. Definitely a lot of assets. Like I said, um, a decent amount that is not ready for release until, you know, maybe next month or closer to the anniversary and then of course on the anniversary as well for some of these things but uh as always i like to make sure you guys are fully aware of what we got from these data downloads so hopefully you don't mind the long runtime of this video and uh, obviously i just want to make sure he gets his credit once again uh thank you so much to proton 10 mg for you know posting these uh, he definitely deserves your follow so go do that for sure um, and is there anything else to say before I go? Uh, oh, we also got app update 5.11.0. Nothing major, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's just, um, 
a few bug fixes. I think the implementation, of course, of the uh, support memory boost system and maybe something else, but nothing, nothing noteworthy really. So a pretty, pretty like basic uh, app update. And uh, yeah, that is the data download, guys. Uh, I do believe that the next Dokkan Fest, the next banner on Global is the Androids 17s slash Super 17. So look forward to that. And uh, that's going to be the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.